Good morning from Nashville, friends. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Today is a full day here in Nashville. And we really don't have any plans. Brian and I don't. We have been here so many times that we just, we've seen it, we've done it. Um, we're just gonna probably walk around and hang out downtown on Broadway. However, it is supposed to be raining majority of the day. Um, I brought an umbrella. I don't think that we have two. I know I have one. So Brian and I can like share it if we have to. Um, he did bring his like rain jacket or whatever. I have my jacket as well. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be raining today. But before I even get this video started, before I continue on any further, I wanted to quickly answer a couple of the questions that you guys had asked me that I was gonna answer in yesterday's video, but because of like traveling here and getting here and all that good stuff, I completely forgot to answer it. So one of the questions was, after Germany, where do we wanna go after that trip? And Brian and I talked about like on the way here yesterday and we were both like, I know the, the what the, lighting is weird because this is like a tinted window and it's dark outside anyway well rainy outside um after germany where do we want to go we have a huge list of where we want to go italy greece sweden norway scotland huge list of places that we want to go after i want to go to london i want to go to France even though we are gonna like go to France on our next trip to when we're in Germany but we're not gonna be like in France we're gonna like hop through it I think I don't think we're gonna be staying there we're not gonna go to Paris I wish we were um, but that's that's on my list as well I want to go to Tokyo Disney I want to go to Paris Disney I want to go to Shanghai Disney I want to go to all of the Disney's um, so those are some of the places that we want to go after our Germany trip. And then um, there was a couple of other questions as well. I'll have to go look and remind myself for what those are. So hold on a second. All right, another question was, what are some of our favorite Christmas traditions? We really don't have any like Christmas traditions, like traditions like a lot of people say, well, we have to do like this and we have to do that. Um, I don't have any like Christmas traditions that we have to like stick by or do or follow or anything like that. Um, I think we just kind of go with the flow and whatever works, works. Um, I mean, we always make sure that we watch Christmas movies and and stuff like that. Um, I think one of, I don't know if this is like a tradition or not, but you know, every night before we go to bed, I always turn off all of our Christmas lights. But on Christmas Eve, I always leave the Christmas lights on all night long. I don't know, it's just something that I've always like done. I don't know if that's like a tradition or not, but as far as traditions, I don't know. What are some of your traditions? Like, what are some of your traditions for Christmas that you guys like, you do, you have to do, you've, you know, um, went down the line in traditions and share those traditions with your kids and hoping your kids pick up on those traditions as well because i'm just curious to know what other people's traditions are as well because we really don't have any none at all we just kind of fly by the seat of our pants <laughs> when it comes to christmas i guess um if i can find the other question i will answer it later on but right now i'm gonna go um put my makeup on and brian already went downstairs for breakfast he's supposed to bring me up a banana I'll probably go downstairs here shortly and get myself a Starbucks because there is a Starbucks here in this hotel. Y'all, when I'm saying when there is a Starbucks in the hotel that I'm staying at, it's like they've got like five stars, 10 stars, 20 stars for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, Starbucks is the best, especially when I can just go downstairs and grab it as long as the line's not long. Um, but yeah. Let's, let's have a good day. Let's have a fun day. Let's see what we can get ourselves into today besides rain. Um, I don't know. I've been to the Johnny Cash Museum. I've been to the Country Music Hall of Fame. We've been over. I mean, we just, we've just we been everywhere through here. So um, I tried to get tickets to go through the Ryman Auditorium today, too, because you can go through the Ryman. So um, that was sold out. So we couldn't do that. I don't know what's going on here this weekend, but I'm telling you, something is big here, and it's going down. Um, because this place is packed. I really wasn't expecting it to be this busy the first weekend of December, but I don't know, what do I know? What do I know? I don't know much about Nashville. I just know that I've been here a million times and I've pretty much done everything you could possibly do in Nashville, so. Anyway, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh. Oh, the 
breakfast is down there. That's interesting. I thought the breakfast was like in the VIP lounge, but the breakfast is down there where all those tables are, where I'm pointing to. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, another thing that I forgot to tell you guys, this is the funniest thing ever. I forgot our clothes that we were to wear tonight. I forgot my dress. I got my tights, I got my boots. I just don't have my dress. And I left um, Brian's suit jacket and everything hanging in the kitchen as well, or hanging across the chair in the kitchen as well. I got here yesterday and I was scrolling through the comments on my YouTube thing and everybody's like, oh, that dress is gonna be so pretty. And I'm like, the dress, <laughs> I forgot my clothes. Oh boy, so basically what we're gonna wear tonight is I'm gonna wear my blazer that I wore yesterday, last night, because that's like the closest, nicest thing that I have to wear. And then Brian's just gonna wear his jeans and his like black shirt, so. I could not believe that, but oh well, it happens, things we forget. And these elevators are forever. They take forever. But yeah, I just kind of thought that was funny that I forgot that stuff. Oh my God. Ooh, ding. Down we go. Down we go. Lobby. I don't know how many stops we're gonna have. I don't know how late everybody stayed out last night. Uh-oh, we're picking up some people. Great, thank you so much. Have a good day. I actually wanted to come in here and see some of their stuff. So they have like a cute little bag. They have like a little booklet. I'm gonna have to come down here and grab that Nashville magnet. That's so cute. But I also saw that Dolly Parton book. And I like want that one and I want that one. So I'll have to come down here and get all these because these are just great books to have. I love them. Ooh, this, this coffee would be hot. They also sell luggage and stuff here if you need like luggage. Look at how tall that one is. I've never seen one so tall. But yeah, luggage, hats, mugs, backpacks, jewelry, sunglasses. They got all kinds of stuff. Alrighty guys, so we are headed out to brunch. We are headed to the diner, Nashville. And I forgot to tell you guys yesterday, after we had lunch at the oh, Broadway Brewery, um, Brian, uh, we had leftovers from our wings and stuff, and uh, Brian and I had them bag it up and we gave it to a homeless guy that was sitting outside because we didn't want to throw the food away and we couldn't bring it back to our room because we knew number one we wouldn't eat it number two there's no place to warm it up so we just gave it to a homeless guy who was outside of the restaurant there which there's a ton of homeless here but um, it was just a gesture and it was nice and he appreciated it. so but we are headed out to brunch right now meeting everybody downstairs in the lobby and we're going over to the diner. We're gonna be walking. I got my umbrella, got my raincoat on, or I don't really think it's a raincoat. I think it's a regular coat, but let's go have some brunch, friends. This is where we are having brunch. The diner, Nashville. Go wrong there. <laughs> This place is super cute. Wow, I love it. Downstairs looks really cool too. You got like windows that they can open here and look out. Oh, that's so cool. Our hotel's right over there too. Sorry. That looks amazing. What did you get? What is that called? It's a California, California sandwich. That looks good. And you got chicken and waffles. I love chicken and waffles. Oh, wait, that looks so good. You got biscuit, biscuits and gravy. Brian, hand me that omelet. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Uh, no, thank you. I'm good. Nuts.
thank you. Oh, is that, what is that? Chocolate covered bleeps? I've never heard of them. Ooh, there's a lot of candy in here. Hamburgers and fries. Gummy, eat, gummy fast food. Oh boy. Look at those big dum dums. <laughs> you love those things. Look at those caramel apples. Yuck. Who likes caramel apples? I do not. I like to dip them separately. I don't like them like that. I'm trying to hold this and my umbrella and my fan because I'm hot. But yeah, we're walking across the bridge. There's Titan Stadium right there. This is really cool. And then there's, I don't know, it might be 24 over that way. I know that bridge right there is not 24. But this is really pretty. I've never walked across the bridge before, so. Yeah, something to do. Okay. Oh, there's Hard Rock Cafe. I was wondering where that was at, too. There's the Batman building that everybody calls Batman building. Yeah, we're just right down the street from our hotel. It's a nice little walk. Alrighty guys, so it is about 30 minutes away from kickoff. I am actually heading downstairs to secure the table. We all decided to watch the game here. And those who don't want to, they don't have to. But we decided to watch the game here. And because the bars are completely packed full and we won't have any room to fit all of us. So I'm going down here now to secure the table and get us a spot to sit for the next couple of hours. And then we'll come upstairs and um get ready for our dinner tonight and i'm not exactly sure if we're walking or if we're going to take an uber um if it's raining and yuck uber it is oh good down we go oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty bathroom so this is what i'm wearing because i forgot my dress so I'm wearing my Johnny Cash t-shirt that I got today. It is super cute, but we are here at a restaurant. Let me wash my hands. So here we go, better look. My blazer, my shoes, and my leggings. I can't believe I forgot my stuff, but nonetheless, it looks fine. Looks cute, I love it. Such a great place, Hall's Chop House. This place is amazing. Are they? <laughs> this place is almost as good as the Sizzler. Hey guys, I'm going to be from the Stag Room Winery. I'm going to put some new one for anybody. That's a lovely winery from the Rutherford area of the Napa Valley. Mm. So this is our favorite, I think, probably for the price point of wine on the menu right now. We'll see if it fits the bill. We'll let you try it and make sure that you. It's not a screw cap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looking great tonight. Thank you. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we tried. He's local, yes. Right on. Huntsville, Atlanta. Oh, wow. Athens, Georgia. And they lost the football game, too, by the way. So Alabama won. Yes. Where's my finger? <laughs> Yeah, where is your finger, Brandy? Where does that go? It's in my purse. <laughs> oh. Nice. Smells very good. Nice. I don't want you to miss out. Oh my God, Steve. It's not just a blazer. Your shirt is doing the same thing. <laughs> yes, sir. 
I forgot. I also know a little bit about this. <laughs> Here at Walls, we source all of our steaks from Allen Brothers. Oh, should I wait on that? No, he's been here before. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's not. Yeah. Yes. He's a bougie. I can help him fix something. Well, he is a bougie bitch. Yeah. That's yeah, so sure. so. <laughs> Well, here at Walls, we source all of our steaks from Allen Brothers. Family owned beef supplier based out of Chicago. Woo -woo. They provide the top 2% of all USA beef in the nation. So, without a doubt, you are getting the best of the best here. If you will notice on that steak. Yeah. Get your picture. I'm not taking a picture. I'm just letting them set everything up. Before that salad. You got too much stuff in the way. That tartare is amazing. So is the Wagyu and whatever that bacon thing is. That soup is really You like your soup too? What is it? A bisque. Oh, bisque? Oh, crab bisque. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Yes. Thank God. Yeah, no ketchup. <laughs> Give it a whack, man. It she said when everybody served. Oh, my Lord. Brian Cato. Yep. <laughs> the king. How did you know he was the king? I, mean, look at the I know, right? Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's concentrating. Yeah, you know, Thank you so something. much. Go big or go home. That's why right. <laughs> if I saw that much meat in front of me, I'd end up paying alimony. <laughs> <laughs> I'd sign that prenup. <laughs> Mary, <laughs> see. There we go. Are you paying yeah. attention? <laughs> Would you enjoy some macaroni cheese? No, I uh, no, I can't have it. About 10 more minutes of this. I'm yeah. right, it? It's all good music though. I love you it. Got one of those bottles of Magnum wine. That might be what you need. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, a couple more drinks. I could go down to Broadway and have some fun. Right, yes. no. Oh my gosh. Let's just go for a ride around the block one more time. <laughs> Give me 